Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm going to show you my 10 gigabit network. I'll show you how it connects and how it works. We'll go over the standards, the speed, installation locations, the pricing, and lastly, whether it's worth installing Cat6 over Cat5e. I'm Mike and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. So first, what is 10 gigabit networking? A 10 gigabit network utilizes ethernet cables that transmit ethernet frames at 10 gigabits per second. This standard was defined in 2002 by the IEEE 802.3AE ethernet standard. So first, let's take a look at my 10 gigabit network. Our first location is our patch panel. This is where all our Cat6 cables meet up and every cable here is a Cat6. Let me show you where these Cat6 cables go. These four Cat6 cables in the middle, the blue, go to my office and to a bedroom. When I decided to run Cat6 cable for this house, we ran two cables per room. And the reason why you wanna run two cables, in the event that you have a cable failure, you have a backup cable. And it also allows for an extra wired connection. More is better. And when you do a wire drop into a room, you can wire drop both wires at the same time. This gray Cat6 wire goes to our kitchen. This wire came with the house. This blue Cat6 goes to a ruckus ICX switch. This white Cat6 wire goes to our living room, which is plugged into a 5 port switch. And the blue wire next to that one goes to our ring and leak doorbell. Now let's look at our ICX switch. This gray Cat6 wire goes to a wireless access point in our hallway. And this blue Cat6 wire goes to our MVR system. And from our MVR system, we have six Cat6 runs for all six cameras outside. From our modem, we have a Cat6 run that goes to our Linksys router. We have a Cat6 run that goes from our Western Digital Cloud to our router. We have a total of 23 Cat6 runs in our house. So just a quick recap. A 10 gig network uses Cat6 cabling and a one gig network uses Cat5e. And by the way, Cat5e can run 10 gig, but only over short distances. So for our setup, Cat5e will not work. Now even though we have Cat6 running throughout our house, can we truly get 10 gigabit speeds? Well, let's first talk about internet speed. To utilize Cat6 cables and the 10 gigabit speed they offer, you will need fiber optics. Fiber offers speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. This would utilize the Cat6 cables. The cable I'm currently running in my house is from Cox Communications. And we have the ultimate plan, which runs 500 megabits per second, which means we are not running 10 gigs on our network. And you're probably asking the question, What's the point of having Cat6? <laughs> uh. And the simple answer is, it's called future-proofing. And our area has fiber from CenturyLink. So eventually, we'll switch over to fiber. And when we do, it'll be easy, because all our lines can handle 10 gigs. Now there's one more issue you'll need to address when running 10 gig, and that's your computers. Most computers only have a one gigabit NIC card, network interface card. So in order to get the 10 gigabit speeds to your computer from the Cat6 cable, you will need a 10 gigabit network adapter. And these adapters cost around $120. And for example, if you have five computers and you want all five computers to run 10 gig, it's gonna cost you $600 in network adapters. And you will also need a fiber optic modem. And this will cost you around 50 to $100, depending on the brand. So keep that in mind before you decide to go to fiber optics. And just a heads up, if you decide not to go to fiber optics, but your computers have 10 gigabit network adapters, you can transfer massive files from one computer to another at 10 gig speeds. This is what huge data centers do. But for a home network, transferring massive files to another computer, not very likely. So what's the cost difference between Cat5e and Cat6? Well, you're going to spend about 20% more on Cat6. So every $100 you spend on Cat5e, 
you're going to spend about 120 on Cat 6. So what's the bottom line? Is it truly worth spending the money on Cat 6 for a 10 gig network? Or is Cat 5e plenty of speed? Well, I truly believe you should always future-proof your house. Because we know technology is always evolving. So if I had to choose between Cat 5e and Cat 6, I'm choosing Cat 6. Cat 6 provides greater bandwidth over Cat 5e and allows for higher data transfer rates. And Cat 6 has now become the minimum standard for new cabling installations. And this means new home construction will have Cat 6 installed, not Cat 5e. However, if your home is older and you have Cat 5e installed in your house, 1 gig speed is plenty, especially for gaming, video streaming, and surfing the internet. Well guys, we're all done here. I hope this helps you decide whether to get a 10 gigabit network or a 1 gigabit network. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.